Welcome back to more Dead Estate. I am taking on a Jules run. I do not have a win with her currently, so I figure I just go at it. S yeah, just <laughs> I'm just feeling it right now. It's gonna be it's gonna be a bit of an adjust. I just did a Mumba run, who's so fast, and I I could rapid fire from such a distance that I kind of almost felt like unstoppable. So this will be this will be an adjust. I gotta slow things down, be prepared to get like right up in things' faces. So this is this is a little bit of a, a window here of of me recalibrating how I'm gonna play. Oh god, I thought maybe I hadn't lured them into dropping yet, so I I like almost put myself directly in that line. Not not so smart. You know what? Even though I don't need the health, if I if uh, any health does drop, I'm just going to take the money instead because I could definitely stand to benefit more from the money at this stage. And here I am running, <laughs> running directly away from coins. Missed, missed a pot. The bat. That's just not something I really am going to want yet, or at all, maybe. We'll see. Gunpowder. Increase the size of all explosions. I don't think the shotgun is an explosion. Bullet shoot farther. That could be helpful. Kitchener Leslie's Lady. High chance for enemies to drop gold coins. That I remember being quite helpful because it just kind of feeds into things. I do think I should probably try and find the like chest on this floor first before going at the challenge room. I could just I could just benefit a little bit a little bit more power before I take that on. I don't think I'm quite ready. This is slow though. Going at things. A little casual. I think if I play smart not too reckless. I'll be fine. The minigun, absurdly fast, low accuracy. It could be a fun way to clear out the challenge room, honestly. I'm tempted to spend money on strength rather than anything else. I'm just going to take the strength upgrade. I'll, I'll prefer to have that long term, I think, rather than trying to use the minigun well and, and having the limits with that. I'm just gonna take a free money there as well. Thank you for that. Cozy little hookup. Yeah, you walk straight through those spikes. You guys deserve deserve it. That's kind of a funny thing now that enemy spike damage is implemented in the game. Is there certain rooms where enemies just immediately start killing themselves? Hey, don't even have to buy that one anyways. This is something that I think needs to be patched. Increased distance for jewels basically means her bullets hover longer. The, the range may have gone up a little bit, but it, I think it largely just turns into this hover bullet thing, and that's, I think, not intended. But that would make for a very fun, completely separate alternate weapon. <laughs> uh, or, or item upgrade, I mean. But considering that you have to get close to enemies, and if you hover them like that, that means they're that much more likely to run into the weapons that you kind of drop on their heads like that, then yeah, it does still end up being beneficial, but I don't think that's the intended way for it to work. One more strength, not quite. Hey, I'll take uh, I'll take a health. Four health is on a line. It's doable, but it's risky. Oh, come come on now, Chunko. What kind of fun is that? You need to give me a, a second, please, so I can go challenge room. I'm probably just gonna if. No, that the, that's not just the bat weapon. That's got to be an item, and I forget what the, the item does. Okay, <laughs> yeah. The hover bullet thing is funny because you can plant it where things are about to spawn, and then I think it sits there for a second and does, like, uh, damage per frame, basically. Increases knockback, so that's still fine. That is still worth having. I don't know, the... the <laughs> 
it seems like it's working in a way it's not necessarily meant to, and I, I'm digging it. I feel too slow after the Mumba run. I have to, I have to do something about that. So I am taking an agility upgrade while I'm at it. Make make jewels a little bit a little bit more well-rounded. I'd say we're making good progress though. I don't know if Chunks' health resets when we reset him like that. I honestly I honestly don't know. Alright. Oh god. <laughs> it's a that just somehow took me off guard. I guess I was expecting Ultra Clot, and I thought I could plant some bullets for it to, to spawn into. Oh god. Aw, oh, right at the end. Got cornered and Ramboed. Not like John Rambo, I just got rammed. <laughs> One second before I kill this. That's. Screw you, mother. Pots sometimes have gold leeches. Maybe that'll happen right now. <laughs> Not that time. <laughs> oh, this, this, this wig me out. I get tense whenever those things show up. Oh, did I? Oh, I didn't pick up the heart. Oh, okay. Whew, good thing hearts persist. I thought, I don't know. I thought something went wacky there. I'm good. Everything's good. No need to panic. Take a take a note out of the hitchhiker's guide there. Try and clean house a little bit. Too messy. Too many pots all over. What? You guys gotta tidy up all these stray pots. The bass guitar. Nothing can happen till you swing the bass. The basketball I've seen and the goop launcher. It's sticky. I, I like the look of the goop launcher. But I don't want it. I am noticing that it's very... It becomes, like, worth it to spend... To, to just, like, worry about your main weapon a little bit and save money for things that upgrade your main weapon because you're going to need it more often. It's fun to mess around with the weapons when you find them for the first time. But then a lot of the time it ends up being that the, your like main weapon is potentially a little stronger. So yeah, quite often I end up leaving behind or selling weapons and... Oh, it made me jump up into the... That's a tough room. I know, it's a bad combo. Guys who throw projectiles that you want to jump over and a thing. It's a tough room. But yeah, there's something about that that seems like maybe not intended. Like, what are the odds I use this gun? A electric guitar. It's silly. I'll test it out. I don't know how it would be different from the base. Like, maybe it does different types of damage. Kill a moth! For the melee weapon assets coming at you. Well, there's one reason to mess around with that, I suppose. <laughs> That's a, a funny thing to earn an achievement for, especially right when I'm talking about the what uses melee weapons have. I... I'd still just sell it though. The bandolier weapons don't use any ammo if the first for the first three seconds entering a room. Okay, so if I just commit like crazy, but then I have to kind of. It'd be easier if I wasn't commentating on a game to kind of in your head think to yourself, all right, one, two, three, and then like switch weapons maybe. But oh, there was one. There's a guy right there. I put the gun away thinking, mm, nothing there. It'd be a waste. Not needed. But this time. Okay. See, that's a pretty sick combo. Because now it means that what is, I assume, a stronger weapon. Because each, well, each shot does do 10. But each swing of that, oh, it like ripples through them. Oh, the guitar is so good. Okay. <laughs> I take back my uh, my shitting on these weapons, considering that that can have like that I can have that going on. All right, there was total. I d I didn't see the hint, but you can see that there's like a door shadow there. And and when I walk back in, 
you, it, it did it did light up the tiniest bit. <laughs> okay, well, I guess I'm selling the one I have, doing a doing a trade in pawn shopping that bad boy, and and loading up on a, a second guitar. Didn't didn't have enough guitars. Ball and chain. Mm, I think that one kind of like slows you down, messes with your jumps. But I'm still going to try for it. I don't really remember how that one operates. Save my guitar because it won't do me any good at this stage. Uh, those guys got quite a lot of health. Okay, I thought I could ride that out a lot more easily than I was than I actually did. Jumping is, like, useful. I don't know if I want to, like, sacrifice much of, of my jumping every time you get cornered, you know? just run out of options firing your weapon won't knock you back oh i i remember people saying it does something weird with fuji because they have a lot a lot of their attack and way that they play is based around jumping and jumping based attacks and then all of a sudden without the knockback it like it messes with that character in a specific way so it shouldn't it shouldn't mess me up so that's fine I'll, I'll live with that. Oh, I should have should have guitared that one. Would have shredded shredded some licks, which <laughs> just <laughs> I wasn't intending a, to have guitar terminology there, but it, it it worked out incidentally just through random extemporaneous speaking. This I think is coming together quite well. I got a decent decent supply of cash. I'm not using melee weapons, BTGO, buying three items from the shopkeeper on the same floor gives you a free item chest. So if I buy that, and then buy the melee weapon and the sandals, will that count? Yes, it totally did. It totally counted the first thing. Uh, killing enemies instantly resets your weapon's reload time. That's handy. The ghost bullet. So that should mean I should be able to just pump out... Uh, well, only when you kill enemies. So I guess I'm not killing enemies on every shot. <laughs> that would be a little absurd. But it does mean that you do get like the opportunity for two rapid fire shots. And if I start pumping out... I don't think there's any exploring left to do. I'm not really going to be able to make use of the electric guitar because of the time it takes to spawn in the boss. But if I combo that with... Oh, come on, man. With the electric gu guitar in some rooms, then that should do a lot for me. As long as I live. <laughs> That's going to be crucial to this plan I've formed. I don't like that. All right. Not too bad. It's okay. It's okay. <sighs> There's a lot. I got a little bit of tenseness here because I'm excited about how this run's going and I don't want to, like, lose it. Don't give up. That, I needed that right now. It's exactly what I needed to hear. I'm getting all worked up over nothing. You're... You're absolutely right. Great advice. Let me... Oh, God. <laughs> I meant to bust out the guitar too late for that. Yeah, oh, I had so much better luck against these mute meat cubes as Mumba. Damn it. The pro projectiles are tough when you got to get in so tight to deal with that thing. Might as well pick up the key nice and early. Oh, god damn you, man. Jumpy and I hate you and you're pinning me in the corners and I should probably be using the guitar on every room entrance. Now I'm stressed. Now I'm going from all this, like, building confidence of this run's going great. What could possibly go wrong to, like, st stressing? I'm so tempted to buy the Ambrosia, but I should check here first. Enemies and pots drop more money. Alright, 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 alright. I'll buy the Ambrosia to keep the run going. And 
hopefully I just earn enough money back that I'll be fine. Okay. Remember, 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 remember to swap to the guitar. Because if it works out in those first three seconds, it's like infinitely powerful. Come on, man. Oh, barely, barely started dipping into the actual ammo supply. I'm not going to be able to get away with it every single room, but on a lot of them. That's run changing to... To learn the value of that and commit harder. <laughs> and it's entirely just because of the, the that money, the, the candy bag. I'm earning back the money I spent on the Ambrosia super quickly. Oh, you goddamn little leech. And you stupid little... Oh, everything got me... Got me there. Not a fan of that. There's... There's an effective way to deal with that guy. Apparently, you can just jump shoot him rather than trying to run under him to, to bait him. Come on. Oh, God. There's too much going on in that room. The bunnies. The bunnies. No, you're kidding me. One health again? Shit, where's he going to come out of next? I don't... I, I wouldn't be able to... I wouldn't be able to buy another Ambrosia. I'm sitting here saying I don't want to. I don't think I could. So... Don't even... Don't even sweat it. It's not, not a real option. Did I just jump on this golden bed? Will that give me any anything helpful? That'd be appreciated. Get back, get back, get back, get back, get back, get back! Those things really close in on you. God, it's horrifying. Should I go back to the, the health area and try and just grab, like, a, a damage upgrade or something? That seems to be, like, maybe a good way to spend my money. It's way back there. It's back towards the boss. <sighs> now Chunks is coming, but I might as well push forward because there might only be, like, one room left over here anyways, you know? I'm sticking with the guitar here, even if I... Even if I waste bullets there. I needed it. Damn it. I don't want to give up the guitar, but I want to pick that up. Oh, I kind of picked it up on accident. You throw mumbas? What the heck? <laughs> oh god, it's like not helpful at all. <laughs> They're like so lobby of projectiles. Damn it. Damn it. My guitar strategy could have I, I would have used that to the very end, you know? Whereas this is just kind of absurd. Does it even do decent? It does do a lot of damage. It does a lot of damage. So in that case, it is worth hanging on to and, and saving for something, anything. At some point, I'll, I'll, I'll need that. The boss, presumably, mostly, more than anything else. Good. Somewhere to potentially spend some of this money. Don't care about the light around me. I don't want the peapod. Not today. Bait. Chunks takes longer to move between rooms. I won't need that today. There is a second Ambrosia if I decided I needed it. I think I'm skipping those investments. And I'll take the fat arrow. The, uh, like a dart or something. I'll, I'll try it out. <laughs> I mean, it's... Essent I feel comfortable enough with the challenge rooms that it's essentially always worth trying. Oh, that's a, a tricky combo, though. I feel like they that's some seriously, like, split attention needed for that. God, I couldn't, I couldn't time it right to get the shot off at, like, my max height. Yeah, this is, like, the hardest series of a challenge room. Oh, man, I got, I don't know how that went as well as it did. One enemy is marked for death at the start of every room, but what does that do? What does being marked for death do to them? I'm excited for the potential and hope that I get to exploit that. And, you know, just... Maybe the boss will get marked? I don't know if that counts as the start of the room, though, you know, so it might not... not might not quite be what I hope it would be. I'm glimpsing around for secret room 
signs. Not really getting much. Extra strength. I'm going to take extra health as well. Oh, sick. That was the third thing I bought from them. Significantly increases the odds of any chance-based item successfully working. Is anything I have chance-based? <laughs> uh, not. They aren't. Nope. Nope. Not. <laughs> uh, everything I have is like a certainty. Maybe eventually I'll find something that that'll apply to. It's kind of ridiculous that I, with the amount of items I have, none of them are chance-based. Just in the off chance, there's a secret room branching off of there. Felt worth inspecting. I'm going to try out the Mumba Launcher for its max damage. Oh, be so bouncy, so hard to hit. But I, I'm just going to commit. <laughs> <laughs> landing landing the odd high-powered attack seems worth it to me. Just as long as I keep my distance to allow those lobs to connect. There, I got I got like a lot off in a row there. <laughs> you jerk, you big dumb baby. Oh, I'm having I'm having issues. If I can just get him to to run into my bullets. That I actually don't have to worry about getting close quarters with him and that made that notably easier to deal with All right, that ended up being extremely helpful Okay Not a lot left. I think we can push through in the lab Never should have come here No, somebody had to do it Somebody had to put their life on the line for the good of the people to deal with the bad of the estate. And that's good old jewels. See, marked for death. Don't know what that meant. Takes more damage? Probably, maybe. That's usually like a thing. So, yes. The one was taking 12 and the other one was taking 15. So it's absolutely just one enemy will take more damage. So quite helpful. I dig that. It's a t pretty good, pretty good weapon, especially since most rooms only have a couple enemies at a time. I would, I would love some sort of shotgun upgrade. I haven't really earned anything like that. Stay back. Okay, melting the, the some of these enemies here. Quick chest. Revenge served cold. Weapons release a larger explosion when they are destroyed or run out of ammo. I so rarely allow weapons to run out of ammo. And I never destroy them in a room where I'm like actively fighting things. I don't even know if I realized they exploded or like did damage. Let's play around with that right now. Didn't didn't help. <laughs> Maybe that's not, maybe that doesn't count as a weapon destroy. Weapon destroy might be something else entirely. Hmm. Luckily, the most annoying thing is the thing that's marked for death. There we go. I set my trap for you. Frag off, man. Not a fan. <laughs> that one standard zombie died like the second he spawned. Never had a chance. Not that I feel bad for him. I'm really trying to not accidentally activate the crystal. I don't want that currently. But maybe now? Yeah, do you know what I actually will? I'll take a free ride. Send me back. Be a great opportunity to sip some water. That was a short trip back. Not necessarily needed. Oh, the second I entered the room right next to the spider i hate it i hate you guys more than ever now they're so difficult to deal with as jewels run ending potential for sure come on don't get too close <laughs> stressing me out come just walk into the bullets there you go that's all i ask is that so hard must kill floaty enemy before tubes before tubes break 
come on, someone, someone hooked me up with a heart here. Do enemies never drop hearts? Is it exclusively pots? I, I'm thinking that might be the case. Shit. Ah, uh, if there's an ambrosia here, I legitimately just have to buy it. Yeah, and then just to like not tempt myself, I'm buying that first. Now I can look at others. Enemies will approach more slowly and move faster, jump higher when you have less than 100 bucks. Bosses spawn with lower health. But I mean, I'm gonna buy enemies move slower and pork ramen, even though this is not that helpful. I don't know, faster movement, jump higher. I guess like I, I just spent all my money, so I'll get used to it out of it now. But I did that exclusively to earn a chest. Sugar lowers your HP by half, but you move really fast. Nope. <laughs> I'm passing on the sugar. I was so wigged out by things I dedicated so much time and energy to the raising my health I, I, I there's no way I'm immediately gonna choose to trade that off you know shit Come on, you, you jerk yeah not happening I don't want to be faster uh, there's like a there's like a certain point where speed becomes detrimental in these games chunks man not now dude I'm <laughs> Not ever. Ideally. Maybe this is like, maybe this is like the room to fight chunks on. Can he do anything? Well, I can't. Okay. He can jump and I can't shoot him. I'm just taking, I'm just running. Uh, I don't want any of those. He can jump and I can't shoot him when I'm higher than him. So yeah, that was a, a never going to work. This is good. I think it is basically raises like every stat. I forget what it's called, the hot pepper or whatever. So I'm 100% I would risk this <laughs> like every time. It's one of the few items that I think I've come to recognize at this point because it's like a notably great item. <laughs> Get lost. I really wish I had an alt weapon to deal with them right now. No, oh, I'm not gonna. I'm just. I'm, I'm so used to clearing challenge rooms with so little problem. I'm, I wasn't even paying attention to the fact that I'm so low on time. All right, I gotta risk it. I gotta. I just had to. HP, jump height, speed, reload times. I just like. I, I I'm fine. I'm fine taking damage specifically to earn that one. I I was treating it like every other room. The stress. She's catching up, you know. Get out of here. It's so diff. It makes it so much harder when you don't kill that thing before the tubes break. Phew. Okay. Chainsaw. <laughs> this will work. Oh, please tell me that's an Evil Dead reference. I genuinely hope that it is. I think it might be. I'm not. I think. Uh, uh, low confidence in that. Not entirely certain. Maybe should have checked all the shops to see if there was another ambrosia to buy. I already bought one though, so I don't think there would have been. I'm I may and a melee weapon was never gonna do anything for me, so like I know the, the money is not useful at this exact moment, but I was never gonna stand a chance with the chainsaw anyways. Come on. If I can just milk these hits into him. a few fists so hard to get close tense oh, at least one more round of that at least one more round I got I got like one hit off while he was doing that move yes here we go this is my opportunity at least there's a lot dedicated to telegraphing where those fists are about to punch up from decent amount of money to take into the the top floor here i might have to immediately buy some healing items but i have a chance i want this to be the one you know i, I, I want to do it i want it Maybe there's something funny about getting a, a Mumba win before a Jewels win. But I was just really excited to test out Mumba. And I got pretty damn lucky. 
more pots for more health potential please more anything I'll, I'll take whatever you can give maybe pots on this floor don't give anything ever I could I could think about looping this one because it's a little bit I'm a little bit concerned about like I, I didn't have the opportunity to invest a lot in, in stat upgrades or anything like that. And so I have not a lot going for me in that regard. They can still drop leeches. <laughs> still that. The anvil destroying a weapon will create a different new weapon that can't be destroyed. Ooh, so what's my first option? The hammer. I'm not going to use a melee weapon. <laughs> Now, the minigun. I would not be able to destroy it, but I think that's fine. Because I think I would legitimately just want to use it. To just go ham on, on chunks from a distance. Like, that should benefit me greatly in this upcoming fight. Hmm. I am going to buy the Ambrosia and then take the money. They weren't going to heal me enough anyways, so I think that was the way to do it. Increased knockback, having $700 grants a damage boost. That's so ridiculous that I would specifically not get the use out of it by buying it. But I'm buying it to get a free chest. The Wandering Star spawns a star projectile that circles the room and damages enemies. How often? I have no idea. Do you know what? I have that... I have one of the ramens, don't I? Was that a different run? Move faster, jump higher. <laughs> so I could buy this. I If I end up at zero dollars, I'll just have zero damage gained, right? I won't lose damage. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna experiment with that. But I'll get the less than a hundred dollar bonus or whatever as I lose that money while in combat. Oh, that's a crucial part of that that I somehow didn't realize before. I thought it was just always, and it was just this continuously stressful thing. All right, well, I'll have nearly two whole minutes, like nearly 100 seconds of bonus damage before then I also get the faster running and jumping. We'll see. A 200 is so low, I don't think it'll add a ton of damage. But I felt like I might as well juice the run as much as possible. Here's a funny thing that I can take advantage of, actually. <laughs> I got a couple hearts off of that. Oh, those must have a high chance of dropping hearts. So that would have been one reason to not bother buying an Ambrosia. But you're risking it. You are really risking it. And maybe I just got lucky there. Because now these ones aren't dropping hearts at all. So, hard to say how that would have, should have, or could have worked. Minigun is gonna be the way to go. I feel good, I feel good about this. The anticipation, I kinda like the the countdown build up to Chunks blasting into the room. The low accuracy is insane, but if I just stand close, I should do okay. Oh God, it does not do a lot of damage. And I, I'm, I'm put myself so heavily at the risk of those projectiles. Bah. It might be less of a, a an automatic kill than I thought, actually. The minigun is not quite as powerful as I hoped it would be. Son of a bee sting. Oh, no. Oh, God. Rocket launcher. Yes! <laughs> Defeat Chunks on the final floor in under one minute. That's how you get her bee costume. I did it with one health left. That's so stupid. Stupid. That was he was shooting so many projectiles at the end there, just non-stop damage taken. I am so lucky for that to have worked out to being a, a one run because that was like not smooth. Didn't go well at all. Oh god. All right, beat the game as jewels. The college dropout. Got ourselves all kinds of wins. Three. <laughs> but the sorceress, clear the game as both Jules and Jeff, and you unlock a character, Cordelia. Try beating the game as her for something very interesting. 
I will probably mess around with other characters, try a Fuji run, try a Lydia run before I bother with Cordelia, but like, it's fun to have the option. Two more, two more that we haven't even unlocked yet. Very exciting. How much, how much time do I apparently have in the game so far? Four, a little over four hours, and we got three wins, several, three characters we haven't even played as yet, and a lot more stuff lying in wait. Thank you all so much for watching. See you again soon.